Let's go to James chapter 1, verses 2 through 3. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. So what does that mean? This is saying, see it as a good thing, be happy about it when you go through trouble in life. And let me place things in context. When you choose to disobey God, you are being cursed. So when you go through trouble, don't see that as a good thing. Like, see that as a bad thing. Change. <laughs> but when you are beginning to live for God, if you have been living for God, when you go through troubles or issues, this is saying, see that as a good thing. And you may say to me, hey, Kevin, that sounds crazy. Okay, verse 3, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. So what does that mean? The testing of your faith builds patience, gives you more patience. And you may say, what is the meaning of faith? Now, some people may have their technical definition of what faith is, and let me place it in simple, easy terms. Blind trust in God. <laughs> you can't beat that. Blind trust in God. So, we have to get to the point where we have no doubt in God in every situation. We have to get to that point like, hey, I don't know what is going to happen. I don't know how God is going to fix this, but hey, I am not going to doubt him. You know, I am going to trust him and just walk in that trust that I have for him. That is what faith is in essence. So, I want to speak about going on in circles. Going in circles over and over and over and over again. You know things of God. You know how to read the Bible. You know how to pray but you get so far in God, then you fold and you continue to backtrack. For instance, you are, you start right here and you get this far in God, but when God allows trouble, you fold and backtrack all the way back to the way that you once was or once were. Then when things get semi-good, you, you unfold, then you get right back or close to the place that you were in God at that first time. Then when God allows trouble to come your way again, you fold, then you continue to backtrack. And this process continues to happen over and over and over and over again. How long have you been knowing God? How old are you? In this life, trouble is going to come our way. While we are living on earth, we are going to be tested. When you go to heaven, your testing is over. So, listen, man. Some people believe that how life is in heaven, their life should be that way now on earth. But earth is a testing period. For instance, when you go to take a test, 
do you bring your TV there? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you do you bring your bed there? No. Do you bring your couch there? <laughs> no. Do you bring your lamp there? Do you bring everything of your house there? No, because your testing period is not your life. You are going to be in that testing period for a short time, right? So you just go to that place to take that test and then when it is over, you go back to your life, right? Same thing it is now. We are being tested. So that means that we are going to have problems. We are going to continue to have problems until we leave this earth. If you go to heaven, if you go to heaven, you are not going to have any more problems. <laughs> you are not. The testing is over. But until then, bad things are going to happen to you because you are being tested. I pray that makes sense. Stop living this life or stop expecting, yes, stop expecting this life to be the way that it will be for you if you go to heaven. I pray that makes sense. Because when you are in heaven, everything is over with. Everything is brand new. But you are not there yet. So you can't expect everything to be perfect. Oh, Kevin, you know, Oh, you know, my car needs to be fixed. Oh, you know, someone broke into my home. Somebody, someone took my money. You know, my kids, my feet, my back, my neck. Everything is going wrong, Kevin. So let me just fold and backtrack and get right back into sin again, not trusting God again. That is foolish, which I did many times, many, 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 many times. So I said to myself, hey, yes, times are bad now, but if I go back to sin again, it is going to be worse. Man, The things that you are going through may be bad, but things can be worse. I don't know why people believe that what they are going through is like the worst, like nothing more bad can happen to them. Like God can't bring more curses to them. Like God can't make their situation worse. I don't know why people believe that. God can take away your sight. God can make it to the point where you feel pain every time you walk or move or anything. God can handicap you. But you go through or this goes wrong and if that goes wrong, you are like, hey, I am not trying to serve God now. Let me do me. Let me go back to sin and stuff like that. The worst have not happened to you. But you see the things that are happening to you as being like the worst things. Like nothing can go wrong that is worse than those things there. I pray that this makes sense. Things can always get worse. So when you are choosing to disobey God because he is allowing bad things to happen to you, God can put more weight on you. <laughs> I don't know why people don't understand that. See, you are so focused on this tiny piece of paper when there is so much more to see. 
but you are so focused. <laughs> this paper, Kevin, you know, this paper, this paper. But there's a bigger picture, man. <laughs> Kevin, you know, this paper right here, Kevin, this paper. <laughs> this paper is small. Look at the larger picture. But you are so focused on this. I pray that that makes sense. I pray that makes sense. God bless.